Is there a type of convention that you have always wanted to go to? I feel like maybe I've asked this before. Like, I want to go to a cat convention. I want to go to a cat show. You know where like they pick, pick up the cats and they go, "This." I'd like is to go to like a, a like a Yukonuba thing. What's a Yukonuba thing? Like where they they judge like the dogs and they put them up and they check like the oh, tail yeah, and like their fun. color. Yeah, I, I think just I think any animal convention I think it would be yeah. fun. But I I've been to a few conventions in the past two years and it's just like I don't know it's just so boring to me uh, unless I'm like unless I'm really really stoked about what's happening in this convention yeah. I, I just don't even think it's even like the only thing worth. I I really like is the L A Auto Show but I wouldn't call that like a convention I guess it is it's an exhibition it's, or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I saw a food convention like restaurants like showing like new food that they're making. Okay. Like imagine, you know, you already go to Costco. You love getting the free samples. Imagine like free samples. Every at like a food, at like a food that, yeah, that, I mean, that would be amazing, but it's like new food. It's like new concoction. Yes. Every single, like every time you go to a booth, it's like you, something you've never seen before that yeah. they're like about to release at a specific restaurant. I can't even make up something in my head of a new food that could come out. I feel yeah. like we've done it all. Yeah, it's kind of like kind of like Mykonos. Remember, we we're at the table and they're like, "This is actually our new dessert. We're going to come out with, oh, and yeah, we yeah. have not served this to anybody. You'll be the first person." We were like, oh, "What? Yeah, Bring it out!" That. We were so excited. They did the whole thing, and it, remember, it like was weird. It tasted I, like sour, it, it was, and it was a lot going on, but it was kind of good. Yeah, but like not something they should release. Yeah, well, I, I, feel I think like we actually we had, told them to like rework we, it. Yeah, because we, we a little we bit more work honest. on it. Yeah, who's this like YouTube or or like one of the phase guys is coming out with like the most sour. Oh, you know what? Ever? I watched the first five seconds, and then it. I think I, I call I, something happened where I couldn't finish it. But I loved the branding when I saw it. it, it like the branding was like the mouth with the. Uh, it's phase phase uh phase rug. rug phase rug. He we I, I, I'll, I'll do it. it. I don't want to do a big spicy chip challenge, but give me the most sour thing ever. I don't think it was like the most sour thing. My I think mouth it was is just watering a, just saying yeah, the word too. sour. I, I think it's just. Is this supposed to be this? Oh, I created the world's sourest candy. Okay, never mind. I thought it was one up, it, like candy. just a sour candy he made. Yeah, and it's like a sour challenge. He's trying to like do like the spicy thing. Okay, it's I, I I love that. Honestly, I'm surprised that some uh, a YouTuber hasn't done this already. Uh, what if like a bunch of stories come out that like kids taste buds have like oh, yeah. <laughs> disintegrated? <laughs> they can't taste anything sour anymore. It's just completely. That's burnt the there. worst about sour. You get like that roof of your mouth feels like it got. Oh. sunburnt and then your your taste buds get swollen and that's, and that's like, like even like if you're eating sour skittles after five there's cuts Done. on your tongue no what oh. is that why I, why does sour candy create cuts on your tongue you're not eating anything hard i gave that shit up is it this is it the salt on the um it's poison it's like the aspartame <laughs> Uh, like if I if I were to guess, I thought it was like the salt. Like the salts are just hard around the candy, so it's just cutting your tongue as you're sucking it. No, I think <gasps> it's like an ingredient. I don't think you're supposed to be eating that. <laughs> Warheads that, are the best, though. That's one thing I gave up. Sour stuff. I used to love it as a kid. Now, I'm like, why did I ever like this? Yeah, I love. I, it I don't it. really understand sour stuff. On airplanes, though, I don't know. I love. Oh, it. I mean, yeah, candy. I've just been, like candy that does something is exciting. Yeah, like, like okay. pop rocks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, do yeah. we to actually me, like it? Or? I, I think there's that, another element to it. The nerds yeah. clusters, I think, do something. That it does that something. Is it does the, something. It's better than the rope too. Yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. They it was it's perfect. That rope just never was always so fucking <laughs> underwhelming. They should they give you that stuff like it's a fucking hot dog and like I in think, that little. Paper like <laughs> I know I, I know a rope. worker just cut it once. They're like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh we my could god, sell this, this for more money if we just chopped it up. You know what it reminds me of too? It reminds me of something Willy Wonka would create in his factory. Because it's okay. okay. Willy Wonka. No, no, I'm no, I'm saying that specific one. I'm not talking about any other like candy. I'm talking right. about it, that it, specific it one. It looks like everlasting gobstop. Yeah. It That's reminded what, me of something that would come out of that like. It that pisses me off that the gobstopper isn't the shape of the gobstopper in the movie. Right. Oh, yeah. I wish it was like all those like runs stuck together. Yeah. That looks like that kid's toy. That's Honestly, like, and it looks like a Rubik's the, the cube. Bubble ball. But also the one, no, I, the one that Violet eats and she's like, yes. she's like, mm, yeah, um, mashed potatoes, <laughs> a roast beef. Oh, save some for us, Save Violet. some room for later. I, honestly, I think they did try to make it, but it probably cost so much to perfect it and get it like, at, because the, I'm sure they did it and it was just all getting mushed together and it didn't look It's also right. gigantic to put that whole thing yeah. in your mouth. They would have to like put like three in each bag in order for it to make sense. Yeah, that's like a, a breath stopper or like you would choke on I mean, that. That's like those jacks that you, the, the game you would play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you think someone at 
uh, obviously Willy Wonka doesn't exist, but Wonka Candies does. Do you think anybody at the factory like puts on like <laughs> like once a year? There's like, uh, yeah, probably like for Halloween. I'm sure they all dress up like Oompa Loompas, and then the, the CEO comes out as Willy Wonka. I'm sure they do that. Isn't it? It's it's pretty. They could never hire a little person to work there. Oh, you. I don't know. Like, you can't do some they, worker discrimination. If I, I mean, you can't discriminate. I mean, if they want to oh, work there. Right. But I mean, I would just feel. <laughs> you're hired. They probably. Because he, why? He probably gives them. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> he probably and gives then, them a warning. He's like, hey, you understand that like you're about to work at Willy Wonka factory. Right. I just don't want you to be harassed. It's, it's the, like a lose-lose situation. Yeah. But honestly, or they could just like, everyone just makes a joke out of it. And he's like. He likes it. I don't yeah. know. Or in Willy Wonka, remember like the wallpaper that they would like lick? Mm -hmm. I know we've talked about this before, but I'm so surprised the world isn't running with the chocolate factory. Like, why aren't they making it? Mariah with her worlds again. I just, we've talked <laughs> Wait, about explain. <laughs> I'm confused. Like, why, like, why, why haven't they made Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, factory. somewhere? Because like, Mr. Beast did. <laughs> no, no, oh. like, like an actual factory. Oh, yes. Have the chocolate river, have the wall of right. uh, where, where people Do can like pick the- Do like an amusement park uh, I, or yeah. something. I mean, I, I'm so surprised it hasn't been done. There's always a reason. This this has come out in the room, them um, trying to talk about this, like, oh, we should come out. And I'm sure there are so many- like cons to that idea because where I, they just couldn't do I it. I think it would be because it would be very exclusive and it would be only like catered to the wealthy. It's like this Star Wars hotel or like that's a thing that they're running a problem with because there's not enough to make it affordable enough for everybody to go into a room where there's a bunch of Why free can't candy. You just make yeah. it it's always though. like, why can't you just make it affordable? Yeah. Maybe, maybe it is possible, but I think it's, I just don't understand. It, I, I think, I, I think it would just be packed every single second of the day Good maybe shit. like it's just it's just so much going so but much that, happening that is so nasty though with that wallpaper like do you Everybody think the oompa loompas are like all right we got to put up new ones because everyone's already <laughs> fucking licked, licked all of this <laughs> wait that i thought that wall they peeled off the uh, they licked no, it they it, just yeah, licked, like it. A, licked it oh that's fucking that gross. would be kind of a fun wallpaper if you were quirky enough to like so have fun. in your house yeah. just to be like it's the wonka wallpaper that's actually not a bad idea and it's easy to like replicate that too Actually, that's a really nice wall. Look at Grandpa's tongue gone. <laughs> <laughs> that thing was thing. Oh, he is. Can he eat like that? <laughs> Stop. Do you remember how Willy Wonka had like half a urinal in his like office? Oh, yes, oh, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. But everything in it was like half, but like yeah. the half the urinal was like a bit much, yes. Mr. Wonka. Did you, <laughs> did you see that school that had their teachers and the students on opposite side of like a clear like piece of vinyl with like, whipped cream and they're both like face to face licking yes. each other what? but like Who through is this coming tiny up with these thin ideas? little it is the most disgusting thing i've ever seen in my life and it's like teachers with their students Ooh, face to face like this licking the licking the same Wait, I don't what? understand the point. I don't. The, I think What's it's just a game. It's a game. I don't can, even know what the challenge eat the, is. Who can it, eat the whipped cream off the fastest? Something's wrong. And you can hear the students in the background like, ew, this is disgusting. Oh, yeah. That that's wrong. crazy. Not one person that is, is like, maybe we shouldn't. Oh my <laughs> God. Ew. <laughs> okay. Like, it like that's crazy. Like it had to be clear. I can't. So wrong. You don't think one Ew. staff member was like, this, this is, is not a good idea. Should we do the intro? Yeah. Oh, All I right. forgot. We yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Forgot. <clears throat> I forgot we were filming. <laughs> All, All right, right, baby. Oh, shit. Let's I run it. my cup again. <clears throat> Three, two, one. It's, it's Comet Talk, baby. baby. Woo -hoo! Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Once again, this is Heath. This is Zane. This is Mariah. That's Matt. And we are unfiltered. That's right, Thank you baby. again for coming to another Monday, Tuesday episode. <laughs> We're so happy to have y'all here. Whether you are running on treadmill, working out, doing laundry, at school, doing homework. Licking your teacher. Yeah. Saving someone's life. I was surprised how many people listen to this, like working out. Yeah, Good yeah. I, saw, that. I, 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 saw I don't think we are motivational at all to be lifting yeah. or walking to. I mean, hey, you had that whole journey. I'm sure people got up and fucking worked out, <laughs> and now and now you don't have to anymore, baby. It is so weird. Yeah. It's done. Zane, do you watch anything when you like are on the treadmill? Heath, I don't know. Well, um, I just know I've seen I, his stuff. Well, I <laughs> well back back when my tits. back when I was doing the the Zila and I had to run like three miles three miles a day. 
I was uh, watching shows to pass by the time. I I had to. Music didn't help. Yeah. Podcasts didn't help. I had to be like watching something and enjoying it. Have you seen there's like those like rings that you can put on to like scroll like through TikTok? Oh no. no oh, way. that's so instead really of like good. instead of being You're running like and like this. doing this, you just have like a little Bluetooth connected button that just does the scroll for you. You know what? Enough. You know what? He Zay. I, I, I <laughs> no, really. I I'd be on the treadmill and sometimes I'd go through TikTok. I'm just like, and your hands are kind of sweaty. Your way because you're sweaty. You can't like touch the screen anymore. Great invention. Boom. That's a Mariah invention. I'm surprised you didn't come up. I would never. <laughs> okay. I have like a really weird question I want to start off with. Um, did you, okay. So I saw a TikTok of someone talking about it that they heard someone else say, where in your body do you think like your consciousness is? Like, where do you like live in your body? Like your what? spirit, like your soul. Yeah. Like, yes, in a way. Like, Where so do you feel it. Like someone was like, what do you mean? Like, I feel like mine is like behind my nose and someone was just like, no, or like someone's not like in their head. Oh, I think mine's my lower back. That's where, okay. So it's like, yeah. that's where you think like your, like where like the mm. weight of your existence, ex existence oh, is. Oh, the lower is. back. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. That's why he's so cranky. Uh, no, yeah, <laughs> it's lower back. You know what? The back of my neck. Yeah. To, yeah. Oh, the back of my neck. I feel like it right depends. Here. Like I, it's either like in my stomach or chest or like my head. The back of your head? Oh, wow. Yeah. Right here. Back yeah. of my head or like stomach? I'm going far head. But I think that oh, goes. You say a far, <laughs> head. far head. That's how big your head is, far head. I think that comes with like anxiety though. Yeah. So it's like chest, stomach. Like I, I just like. Mine's in my shoulders or like mine mm, is like okay. this area here. Cause it's also how I gauge like when I need to work out. It's my like assessment of my like whole figure is just this. Like oh, I, don't yeah, know, I live, I live here. Yeah, if I'm stressed, my forehead's a little bit. Uh -huh. if, if there was a second option, I would probably say my stomach. Like, yeah, because I suck it. it controls I, you. I, yeah, because I, because I, I, um, I suck it. Like I non-intentionally now suck in a lot. Like I'm just constantly sucked in. Whether, it, like, even if I had abs, I would just suck in because I do that all the time. So I feel like my stomach. Mm. I like that's where I'm working. I'm working over here. I, I guess I'm going off of because you see people that get like transplants. Somebody gets like a heart transplant. Yeah. Um, there's actually somebody recently that just got a heart transplant and had different like memories of. Yes, I saw that. It was a little girl, right? The child that she had got the heart donated from. What? Which I thought was really weird because that I didn't think. I didn't even know you could. She, oh, was, she was having these dreams where it was uh, repetitive dreams where she would wake up in the woods. Yeah. And it'd be a guy chasing her. So she described the man. She described her whole dream over and over again to like a specialist. She got, she kept and, having it after she got the transplant. And turns out the person that donated it was. She was murdered. Yeah, she was murdered by that man that this girl saw Oh in her my God. And that's how, that's how they ended up finding the guy. Oh yeah. my God. But that, that can't hold up in court. Can but, it? Like, well, 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 I mean, they, they use that to get to finding the guy and finding actual evidence. Oh, oh got it. To it. There was evidence yeah, after it that. It led okay. them to the guy and then I guess probably DNA. Yeah. Got it. It, just, okay. it was a match. Wow. Crazy. That's unbelievable. Which is weird that that would be like carried in your heart. You know what I mean? Which it was muscle memory. So it's like, it's a, isn't your heart technically a muscle? Yeah. 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 But I would think like stored, stored in your brain. Yeah. But, but and it's probably a little bit of a miracle from. Big man upstairs. It's wild how they just do heart transplants. You're telling me that they just like take the most vital organ out and there's a moment the and then they just link it all up. You know, it's so interesting. There's, <clears throat> there's, I think there's a, a, a few religions that um, it's, it's a sin to donate like organs. Yeah. Like to donate each yeah. other's organs. It, I think it has to be like sp something spiritual like yeah. that. That's to do with it. And but also yeah, even just to like, like remove your limbs too. Or like, I thought like Rastafarians believe your body needs to be whole. Like didn't Bob Marley yeah. have cancer in his toe and they're like, we need to remove your toe. And he was just like, no, my body has to be Wait, whole. Is that, was that, is that the story? That's what my dad told me growing <laughs> up the whole time. Pardon me if I don't have Bob Marley. I thought Bob Marley got cancer in his toe. No, that's definitely true. I didn't know that he was like, I got to keep my toe. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure. Wait. Bob Marley should have not, okay. Bob Marley was hey, diagnosed under with the, the nail of his big toe of the big toe. Contrary to popular belief, the melanoma was not caused by a football in, in, uh, injury. But captain goes down with the ship. That's right. 
You're you only as your strong big... as your weakest member. Exactly. Or that, toes. That, I don't know. Don't wear don't wear that many flip flops or put sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> wear some closed toed <laughs> shoes. Uh, uh, but speaking of miracle surgeries, I just got LASIK. Did I know, you really? I yes. Did. I did. Oh my gosh. Ago. How did you like, whoa. I went to the person that you recommended. Dr. Paul Lee. Paul C. Lee. That's He's right. He's the best. <laughs> but I got a different one. So I did something called Smile. Okay. It's, it's different than LASIK. Um, but basically, you know how like you got your flap peeled? Yes. Like they cut the eye, <laughs> fold it over. <laughs> it sounds horrendous. Yeah. Um, mine was, they do like the laser thing with the light where you put it up to your eye. They laser it. And then he put a small incision on my eye and then went in with like tweezers basically and scrapes up the cloudy stuff and then pulls that out of the little hole that he made. <laughs> That's Did wild. he recommend this surgery to you or he gave you the options and you said, I like he gave that me, one He more. gave me two options. I went with that one because he said the recovery is super quick. He was like, if you rub your eyes a lot or you're active, he's like, you can go boxing the next day and get hit in the eye and you're completely fine. This is like the yeah. athlete one. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you know, <laughs> 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 um, but yeah so i went with that one and also i liked the fact that 20 years down the road i can still get lasik if i want um, oh because you went with that option yeah you can't do like lasik twice usually oh shit <laughs> um but yeah so i got it done and the most insane thing i've ever experienced in my life i'm not gonna sit here and say it was like horrible but i i hated it it was amazing that he was able to do it and it was so quick but just the it was uncomfort. So quick. What was really scary. So they do the laser and they get done with that. And it basically, it like burns your whole eye. Yeah. So when he pulled away, I couldn't like, it was white. I couldn't see anything. Did you feel like you fucked you up? Freaked, you freaked I out. thought, I thought I fucked up. Like when I got, I was done. freaking out. So like, I, I went to like, look around and it was just white. Couldn't see anything. And then I really started like getting in my head and yeah. like, all right, now we're going to have to do the, you know, the scraping thing. And I felt like, the knife go into my eyeball and then I can feel him pushing down on my eye and oh scrape, my God. like scraping the black. But you part just of my felt eye. pressure because you couldn't obviously couldn't feel pain because they numbed your entire eye socket. Yeah. So they go in and you could just feel them pushing around. Apparently he like grabbed my eyeball with tweezers and was holding it still. And oh, just like fuck, digging dude. around. Yeah, it. there was a camera that me and Jordan were watching the entire thing. I totally zoomed in. Yeah, I was watching Matt's too. It's, it's crazy. It's un Believable. It really Jordan is. Jordan apparently almost fainted. I haven't seen the footage yet, so I don't know what it looked like. Oh, you haven't seen the no, footage? Should we I all want, watch it together? Yes, I want to watch it. I think I'm going to freak. Oh, wow. Ooh, hey, Holy shit. That's my eyeball. So all of that fog is about to get cleared out. Did you have a condition? Or like, this is what they did to me? Wait, or? hold on. <gasps> <laughs> oh, wow. He like pinched it and this, You it. can't see right now, right? No, like completely blind. Yeah. Okay. So for the people listening, they're going in with like a, the knife. Is that the knife? Wait, that knife looks jagged. Wait. No, that was like a <laughs> That looks like an ice. That looks like an ice, Um, like a, a piece of ice. This looks like a dog's eye. That's like about like a really oh old dog's he, eye. That was, so out. I think that was a sponge to dry it. Yeah, soak <gasps> in the moisture. That's the oh. knife. That's crazy. <laughs> So I could feel. Oh all of my that. god, bro! Dude, dude, this is making me like oh. gag. Wait, wait till he pulls it all out. It's like satisfying. Did so you, he, were he you go, nearsighted or farsighted? Or I can't see far away. Watch him scrape okay. it. <gasps> Whoa! Oh Yo, my this is way more oh intense. Oh my god! Than I'm, sorry for, <laughs> I'm sorry for the video. I was turning away. That's a lot of scraping, Heath. Did you, oh my, oh my god! god. This, oh, dude, this is like way more intense than what they did. To me. <laughs> that was not what he I Matt could, did. I could feel all of that. Just oh like, oh my god! And just it, oh, in my eyeball. <gasps> he, this is whoa. oh my. He keeps going. Did oh, you, he's not. <gasps> he's not even going in slow. <laughs> he's uh, <laughs> Look, wait, watch, 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 watch. <sighs> oh, what? Isn't wow! That, isn't that amazing? It's like when a reptile like gets rid of their film on their eye. Isn't that a miracle? That is. Wild. And did, that's it. Did you look up what this surgery was before you got it? No, he goes, as soon as I go to lay down, he's like, you watched the um, the videos we sent over so you know what to expect, right? And I was like, no, I honestly didn't because I, I can't. If I would have watched this before, I would have said no. no. I could I, If I saw that, I don't know if I could have done it. But the that. second I took like five times longer than that. <sighs> but you, you were numb though. Yeah. That's that's good. And then you were numb for that one. Right when they finished, could you like uh, was it still blurry? But you knew you could see clear. I I I wouldn't open my eyes. Uh. I don't know if a part of me was like scared. They like they walked me off and like stepped me down. 
because I was so scared to open my eyes and see if I was blind. Oh. So I like sat there. I went to the corner and I remember like looking up at her and I was like, I'm going to cry right now. I just felt like, I don't know. It uneasy. was uneasy. It was so uneasy. But like, well, how, how, how is your sight right now? Perfect. When did, when did this happen? Last week? Two I, days ago. Yeah, two days ago. Oh my, are you on drops? Yeah. You got to put that little like, mm -hmm. little I got my drop. breakfast, lunch, and dinners. <laughs> and you have to do the drops every day for- Four times a day until the bottle's gone. There's like two different, well, there's like one that's like the creamy kind of one. And then there's one that's like, um, none just of mine, to keep it lubed up. Yeah, it's mostly lubricant. Oh, I'd like to put like on like an antibiotic one. Because I guess because they really like cut. God more bless of my the eye. first few people that they had to test this no, shit. They're on. dead. Yeah. Rest in peace. What do you mean dead? They're fucking <laughs> blind. The kids. How, like, how do you know you can do that? Especially just scraping like that. I, what really blows my mind is the laser that does it. So they're lasering my prescription into my eye. Yes. Oh, what about the wait? You did the laser after that, or was that the, the laser? The laser was before that. So the reason my, my whole uh, eye was white is because they burned it. And then they go in and like scrape out the burns. I don't know. They like, they settle it out. So it's like perfect Imagine 2020. Them. Like, so there is trying no. Trying to figure this shit out. Yeah. Oh, we're going to burn the, uh, I'm sorry. We're going to what? The, we're going to burn the eye. Yeah. And then scrape it off and that's going to work. Uh, but my buddy Austin is going to be getting it done. But his eyes are so bad that they can't do this or LASIK. Oh boy. So they have to go in similar to mine and they put a permanent contact lens underneath that. Yeah. I've heard about that. <laughs> it's wild. That's, that's unreal. Well, is it, it's pretty miraculous, though. Well, Heath, I mean, look, it was pretty crazy, but you still got through it, and now you can see it. I know. It. Well, uh, 100%, 100 worth, worth it. it. Are you, you having go. the halo effect, though, at night? Like, uh, have you been, like, seeing that glowing effect around? Not really. I guess, like, a little bit, but not more than I guess I used to have. Have you gone driving at night since no. it? Uh, then when you drive uh, at night, it's like, whoa. Or also, like, right when the sun sets and, like, you realize it's, like, light inside. It almost feels like you just took, like, acid or shrooms. I've, I've also been yeah. clearing up the last couple of days. Okay. Um, it started, like, a little bit cloudy, kind of foggy. And it almost feels like when you wake up in the morning and you, like, open your eyes for the first few times, you kind of have, like, a, that film. Yeah. And you kind of, like, try to clear it. It's kind of been like that, but every day since then has been getting better and better. I don't understand how that surgery is almost is almost as much as a root canal. It makes no sense. Like when I see that, I'm like, oh, that procedure cost $20,000. Yeah. Like that is an actual medical miracle. Yeah. What, was it $20,000? No, I'm no, 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 I'm saying when He's I- He's saying what, it should be. It, like, oh. just by, I'm not saying it should be. Absolutely, they overcharge everything, but I'm surprised they don't overcharge this. Yeah, they overcharge everything else, but for like your eyes, the most I feel like is so important, like definitely I, more important than your teeth. I thought it was very reasonable for looking at what they just did to me, and I yeah. have perfect sight now. Have you canceled your eye insurance now? No, I haven't. Do you, are you do because you don't have to pay to go see like an eye doctor anymore. You have good visions. There's no I think you don't have to pay for like. Your prescription lenses are, you don't need like insurance. For and that. I had just ordered like three days before this a whole, <laughs> whole bunch of contacts. A whole year? Yep. How much do you guys pay for? Uh, for a year? <laughs> I'm contact. terrible about remembering what I paid for things. It's, it's I think uh, it was either like $5,000, four, $4,500. $4,500 a year? Wait, for no, what? Wait, for, oh, wait. No, oh, wait. No, oh, no, I'm no. sorry. I thought for we were talking this. about the procedure. Oh, no, no. A year. Like um, on for, contact. For, uh, contacts, for contacts, it was $95 for a three month supply. Yeah, oh, okay. it was so definitely like a couple hundred dollars. And then you also think about buying glasses. You always get a new pair of glasses yeah. that are kind of nice every few years. And it adds up the amount of money you'd spend on contacts and getting a new pair of glasses yeah. over the course of years. I, I mean, I, I would say like this compared to other surgeries that people really need and how much they jack the prices. This is so affordable. And I think this is a great like investment yeah. and think, like thing to save on. It's weird though that insurance that covers and helps out with contacts. But it doesn't help out with this because they don't want you getting this because then because that's keeps you on the pay plan. If everyone got this, they wouldn't it would ruin the contact industry and the glasses industry and the whole industry of optometry in a way. And I'm sure I'm not sure those guys Follow have a lot money, of baby. And I'm Follow sure those guys money. have a lot of negative things to say about this procedure. There are just there's to get a lot people, of people not to do it. I know there's a lot of people who like say do not get LASIK. Yeah, there is like a there is like the percentage of people who like have been driven by suicide in based off like LASIK. I've, I've heard that root too. canals too. All right, root all right, all right. You're scaring them. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're, don't, Keith, do not worry about it. It's very, it's, very, it's, very it's rare. rare. It's rare. It's, I mean, but that, that's like any procedure. It's like when you, uh, you know how they put, like put you to sleep to get your wisdom teeth taken out. Yeah. There's people that die 
just by being put under. It, yeah, I they, think they ev- don't wake up. <laughs> exactly. I think, I mean, that's for everything. Any procedure, I think there's always a risk of death. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you just got your teeth checked out. Yes, did I did. Did you have a cavity? I got two root canals. I, you got two root canals? <laughs> no, I have to. I have to get it. The thing, remember I felt it? I yeah, felt like yeah. it knew. felt really bad. We, we, but we you know saying, cool. I think you have a gift. I just started eating candy again like two weeks ago. So I think oh. the candy is what like, like hooked it. They're like, it just needs, it needs some, let's get some crazy sugar in that thing. And as soon as I it had oh. like that candy for a few weeks, oh. it like fucking, but it, it, so, it was so bad where like even breathing in, it like sends a, it sends it through all like my nerves. electrical shock. Yeah. And so I have an infection under my root canal. So oh, yeah, whoever yeah, yeah. did my root canal like years ago, they didn't fully clean it out. Clean it out. So it it, it was um that's what that's what I was told and it got it would got infected. It's and now so, they need to completely remove so it. So weird we as humans as kids, we have a whole set of baby teeth that we lose when we're 7 years old or like around our childhood and then we grow in these pairs of teeth that we're going to have for the rest of our lives. Like they should have spaced it, like lose it at 20. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Like, oh, wouldn't we like shed our teeth every like 10 years? But wouldn't that be weird? Like some people are like, sorry, going, <laughs> going through so, the shedding phase. Like it happens. It's normal. We understand. Yeah, like, like a snake. Maybe humanity would be way more understanding. But you know what? Teeth would take so long. I feel like to grow if we had one oh, more round then, at 20. Then you got like two coming yeah. in up here. It's <laughs> yeah. like, you'd, you'd look oh. like that. You'd look like that. The sparkly dressing. <laughs> Somebody's getting a new tooth. They're a little cranky yeah. today. Oh man, oh man. But yeah, I have to, I need to get two. But um, I've I've gone already five. So I feel like I'm just oh like goodness. used to it. You should I know think the, about dentures at this point. Heath, I think I'm gonna need veneers in like four years because I my, if you look at like the x-ray, it, they're just everywhere. Dang, your teeth look fine. I know they look fine to the to the eye, but like don't judge a think book of the think color. of like the the structure, the bones, the like root. dude, they're fucking. It's all uh, it's all filled yeah. with like. And what sucks about about me have uh, when I get a cavity is that I don't feel it until it turns into a root canal. Mm-hmm. So like I have to get checked up like every few months just so they can catch Damn. cavities before they turn into a root canal. But I never go to dentists. You know why? Because I hate dentists. I hate them. It's all right. Uh, do y'all believe in the, how long do y'all believe in the tooth fairy for? Not very long. I remember finding out. I did get money though once. <laughs> you like by putting my tooth under. Put your hand out and catch your parents <laughs> like, like, what are you doing? But you know, when I got that $20 bill under, I really thought it was. You were getting fairy. $20 for a tooth? <gasps> no. Oh, I didn't Woo! get, I didn't but get it. But it was only once. You should have got taxed on my, that. Uh, my parents treated it like it was a magic trick. Like the tooth would just disappear and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> we get nothing. Did you ever try the, the string to the doorknob? I kind of missed no that idea. feeling, that loose. I don't yes, <laughs> I want. Out oh, yeah. yeah, it, it felt like a scab. You just wanted uh, to pull it off. There was nothing uh. better than sitting there, and, just, <laughs> and you know it's on that one little fucking thread. <laughs> little yeah. Shit, I had two dead front teeth when I was a kid. <laughs> dead? Oh, Danielle too. She uh, she uh, she was saying that she had a dead tooth. Um, when I when, when I was younger, like, I I fell and smacked my two front teeth on the ground, and they filled with blood, <laughs> and I just had. Two just like dark brown front teeth <laughs> for a long time until they fell out. Damn, that's Ooh. crazy. Just yeah. dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Your nickname, dead, to, dead Teeth. Oh, man. Yuck. I got okay. to pee real quick. All right, let's move Do on. It. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, BetterHelp. It's so easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you and never take a moment to think about what you need for yourself. But when we spend all of our time giving, it can leave us feeling stretched thin and burned out. And therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. BetterHelp is entirely online and designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. And it's super simple. All you got to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. BetterHelp is so awesome. You don't have to leave your home or sit in a waiting room, wait for a doctor. You can do it all from the comfort of your own home. Exactly. And just save the gas money, quit driving around and you can do a video call. You could text, you can even do a phone call if you don't want to see them or you don't want them to see you. And it's good to get an unbiased opinion from somebody that's a professional, not like talking to your friend, best friend. Like, Cause I'm going to tell you what you want to hear. You exactly. Know? <laughs> yeah. It's just good to get that professional advice from somebody that knows what they're doing. So if you're ready to find more balance, all you got to do is go to betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath today to get 10% off your first month. Again, that's betterhelp, H E L P.com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you so much. Better help for sponsoring this podcast and helping us and our listeners. Last episode, Hidaya was here. I think it was her second day. Oh, how here, was it? And then she filmed it. It was, it was really nice. She, um, she just got fired from, the mm. restaurant she was working at. So, and she was just like feeling down. So I was just like, just come right out here. I got her ticket to come 
hang out for a bit just to get away from the city. Fucking hate, I hate the New big York. apple. I hate New York. Every time I go, I'm just like, get me out of here. There's just something about it. But um, but yeah, she was here. Pretty wholesome. I would say pretty wholesome week. We we went and did some pottery one nice. day. We Cute. did I was very good at it. I was very surprised I was able to do like a perfect bowl. You're you're very artsy though. Like you're I was very surprised. I I, I was just really you loved really arts shocked. and crafts as a kid, huh? Hmm. I don't think I loved it as a kid. I wouldn't say you're a perfectionist, but you're really good at eyeing whatever it is you're working on and like knowing that you're in control of it. You yeah. like the control of creation yeah. in like a way. And so knowing that like I can see your brain and pottery being like it's the most satisfying like thing yeah. of your outcome. I, I, like, I could definitely go back and do it again for like sure. The way you edit videos in like the way yeah. it's like you're making a video. That's, it's, that's it's, kind, yeah. yeah, no, I know what you mean. No, I definitely, there was a, like, I it had to be perfect. It, it was perfect or I just literally crumple up and throw it away. It over. But it was, I, so I painted, I did this like ombre like yeah, yeah, yeah. um inside the bowl and I loved it and it was perfect, right? And the guy was taking it off and I was like, yes, this is, oh my God, people are gonna be so impressed. And then he made me, because he couldn't get the wire under to take it off the thing, he made me hold it. So he made me oh, hold what? it from the inside and out. So like I held it and I was like, oh my God. And I completely had to ruin the bowl. And he was like, okay. Um, I was like, wait, it's ruined. He's like, well, we can't put it back on the, I was like, is there, a, is there a way we can like spin it slowly so I can fix it? He's like, if you can't put it back, it's gonna, it's gonna fall off. And I was like, fuck. And then I tried to fix it. I took the pain. I was trying to do the ombre again and it just wasn't doing it because uh, it, and it, I completely ruined the bowl. And I how, was so angry. I how was like, are you supposed to get it off and fire it up without touching it? Should I don't, been, I don't should you know. Have wet it? Should you have uh, wet the base a little bit more? But to like pick no, it up and no, transfer it, it. it was no, it was like it dried up and then he like transferred it. Like, but oh. I didn't. We didn't think that would like I would have to ruin <coughs> my, like the piece. Yeah. And and then after we took it off, I looked at. I was just like, I don't even want this anymore. But they're, they're like, oh, we're gonna like you know, uh, uh, laminate it and burn it or whatever. And, I'll, and in my head, I was like, I really hope they like try to fix it, like make it mm -hmm. look good. I think they, you, I think they usually just keep it how it is yeah. and just and just uh, do it. But. I was just really sad. How were people making pottery before a spinning like base? Oh, <laughs> I mean, there's literally, I mean, it, I, I think they would just be really shitty clay pots and bowls. Like I'm sure it, like, like just but think, like, no, think about really, think about really, really shitty ones. Yeah. You've seen like really shitty, like clay pots. I, I think that's what they look like. Honestly, you know? I don't think like back then it was like aesthetic didn't matter. Yeah. But it's imagine like you just, heard that the town over that they had this spinning magical electric <laughs> wheel and they were just busting out pottery left and right. Wouldn't, like, imagine living in a time where you could just be like, Oh, what should we do today? I don't know. We're missing. We, we could really use another pot for the, for the <laughs> hut. Like, All right, I'll make us a pot today. Or like, you know what I mean? Like that was your day. And it was uh -huh. so cheap. And you you like cut wood and you you create a chair. <laughs> you're knitting and knitting a sweater all like, day. How did for they somebody. do that? This is 1300 BC. How did they do that? Insane. That almost looks like inflated. Like they had balloons or something and then they would they, put the They had to have had the the spinny thing. There's no way. <laughs> to I, make that. If, if they could build a pyramid, <laughs> this, <laughs> this fucking pot doesn't impress me much. I will always just try to figure out that pair, that whole pyramid. Just, I will always, every podcast, if we talk about it for five <laughs> minutes, I would like that. You know what really blows my mind? People that can uh, blow glass. I love I those think videos. that is the coolest. You're, ta skill you're talking set. about like when it's like when it's hot and they like. They like oh the forbidden like a, the forbidden slime oh, the forbidden mm, lollipop oh. yeah. It does Oof. look like candy. It's on like a tube and they just like, and you see the glass inflating and they can like manipulate it and they put the torch on a specific area so they can like. Zane, have that. you never seen this? Like glass. Oh. No, no, I've, I've seen that. Remember wow. what episode was it where you're like, if there is something you could eat, but like you can't touch that it. Would that would be it. That's yeah. God, that looks so yummy. And then they like dip it in glitter. <laughs> and then people so can make cool. them look like dragons. They like pull the yeah. yeah. Wait, isn't that what pumpkin. they make like those uh, Italians have with the oil? That's that's pre it's pretty much that. Yeah, right? they can like bend. They take like a uh, a beer bottle or a coke bottle and they bend the tube at the top of it and make it like do yeah. A cool. Man, I'd just be so tempted to suck it the other way. <laughs> <laughs> just have that glass just inflate so inside of my life. Are those expensive? It's do they charge strange. a lot for those, or is it it's pretty cheap? Because it's I would imagine they're. Pretty expensive. But like, that's the type of shit you always see at like grandma's house now. Like that, I don't think that's cool anymore like to see that on like it's on shelves. 2000s decor. It's very yeah. a little tacky.
But it's so cool though. Oh, um, so me, me, Danielle, Todd, and Hidai went out one night. We went to a, a karaoke uh -huh. uh, spot, and um, we were just chilling there, you know, showing her the showing her the neighborhood spots. And we were sitting there, and this this girl walks up to us. You know, and I'm just in my head of like, oh, she wants to say hi. And then she walks right past and then goes to Hedaya and she grabs her and goes, oh my God, you're so beautiful. Are you queer? And Hedaya was so taken back. She was like, uh, no. And then she walks away, but we didn't hear that. We didn't right, hear what was saw. going on. We we're like, oh, is she saying hi? She's like, no, she wanted to like, I think she wanted my number. She wanted to like hook up with me tonight. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, Hedaya, that's that's your first that's your first lesbian encounter. That's was, great. Was she also in a scarf? No, she wasn't. In a scarf. <laughs> she may have had a thing. No, no, though. she was no, she was just like this beautiful girl. I think she may have been like Middle Eastern because I think Hedaya said she said something specific. She said some word that was like, yeah. my God. I think it was like uh I forget what it was. But she she said an Arabic word that Hedaya understood. Mm. So that meant she was somewhat Middle Eastern. Or, right, right. And yeah, Hedaya, like, I think Hedaya walked off. She was like, proud. She was like, okay. <laughs> all right. Pulled. <laughs> pulled, pulled a girl. All right. If I wanted, I could. I think that's how she felt. She felt invincible that night. Right. When Great Hedaya said no, did you step in? You're like, I, I like girls. <laughs> uh, girl I, I, girl I like, like hey, girls. what about me? <laughs> it's one thing to go up and hit on somebody, but I feel like it's gotta be extra hard to go up and hit on somebody and be like, are you queer? Yeah, it's yeah. Very bold. You know what I mean? Like it's like, it's you're getting hit on, but then there's like a, also another layer to yeah, it. Yeah, because you have to like, you, you, there, there's a big chance probably the girl's not. You know what I mean? I don't even know what I'm saying, but like <laughs> there's a big chance that like they're not because I feel like that's right. just that's the- Statistically, statistically speaking. Statistically yes. speaking, yeah. I, I bet that girl has changed people's minds. Oh, oh she definitely That's has. probably oh, why yeah. she did it. She definitely like, I don't has. care. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I went. <laughs> <laughs> Today I might be. <laughs> <laughs> that's gone right off. Um, Nothing I, else exciting happened with the die here though. We just chilled. I did see- um, we should take a little field trip. There is a Chuck E. Cheese in Northridge, which is about 15, 20 minutes from I'm us. In. And it is one of the last remaining Chuck E. Cheeses that didn't transform <laughs> into the 2.0. So the animatronics are still there. There's a full <gasps> stage. Yes. But no way. June 5th, they're starting the 2.0. Oh. So everyone's like, go to the Northridge location. And if anybody has any connection, I want to buy. Oh, like I want to buy one. You want to buy yes. the aren't the, aren't, the aren't, the aren't the characters They're really huge. scary looking? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's that's terrifying. Is I don't that know if I'd want the that Northridge house. location? I, uh, They're do, I'm about gonna, to, I'm going to look for it. They're about to do a massive. Oh, yes, uh, yes, it is, Mariah. <laughs> there's going to be an auction, right? I bet. Or do you think they're just going to throw them out? Oh, uh, no. Collectors will come in for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. There's, there's really. I'm a collector. We got to beat them, bub. Get ready. Or I think. I know there's just some hardcore Chucky e. Cheese oh. entertainment. There's uh, no way they're gonna give that away for cheap. No, that's I gonna know, be a lot of they'll money. They'll take them there's, to a collector's auction. Jordan, like, find out how many original Chucky e. Cheeses there are left. This is like one of the few. What's the amount you would pay for something like that? Uh, five grand. <laughs> you pay five grand for that? Yeah, it's a, it's a collectible. Five grand, and it might kill you in the middle of the night. <laughs> that's crazy. My kids are gonna love it. <laughs> just, you could just cry. I'm thinking of my kids. <laughs> I'd get the less scary one, like the chef. Yeah, sure, sure. sure. <laughs> the Chuck E. Yeah. Cheese's I worked at, we only had like one Chucky like alone, and then the other thing was like a blue screen thing that kids would so, get in front of, and then they would oh, project that on the TV. Nobody, nobody kill me. I've never been to a Chuck E. Cheese. A Chuck E. Cheese what? is. Well, now um, I think you've, you've you, will you actually wait? See, I, we, I thought we talked. I thought we talked about. We talk about Chuck E. Cheese. You never I mean, got invited to like a birthday party at a Chuck E. Cheese. We Cheese's? always did kabooms. Oh, oh that's why. Did was, we like, have a Chuck E. Cheese near us? I have. I don't think there. There might have been, but I don't. There had to have been. Isn't it Pasquale? Is the is the chef? So wait, then, what? These things are on stage and they just dance. Yeah, they're, they they're, they're, they move very <laughs> creepy, almost like claymation. Mm. Hey, so I wonder the sounds it's it makes. Very creepy. You but, just hear all the electronics in there. But it's very, very, very nostalgic. Like looking yeah. like at that is. And when you went to Chuck E. Cheese, that's what it looked like. Yeah. Right? yeah. Now, so I, then I looked up what are the new versions of the Chuck E. Cheese, because obviously we haven't seen them, and they're all, the anim, animatronics aren't there. It's just like a digital dance floor and then an arcade. It's gonna be it. virtual in about 10 years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese like is it. gonna be a hologram in the middle. Yeah. You don't even need to hire somebody anymore. 
Yeah, they still only like they still run the shows like on floppy disks and stuff. Like, wow, you know what? That's Mariah, how old the technology is on I, the animatronics. I don't remember me as a kid seeing any animatronics when I went to Chuck E. Cheese. I just remember the mascot and him looking like what the mascot looks like right now. I don't remember him like looking. And then he would only come out like every so often. Got like, it. I could never when I was in the Chucky costume. I could never be out on the floor while the Chucky was on stage. Ah, uh, yeah. Less than 50 original Chuck E. Cheese's left. So they call it the- um, The Last of Us. Studio C version. Okay, yeah. Mm. So those are the ones with the animatronics. Now they're doing a 2.0. So the, that's why they're all transitioning to mm. this new- You should buy get one of the booths. I saw some guy, his name's Stuart. He's like a Chuck E. Cheese owner who's been at his location since the 80s. He knows every <laughs> nook and cranny of this Chuck Let's E. Cheese's. Let's have him on. And he uh, was talking all about the new, they're getting rid of his stage. He's really upset oh. about it. Um, but their booths, which like came in like 2007, which is like when I worked at Chuck E. Cheese's, those are getting uh, taken up. But I'm like- That would be fun cool to have in a little, basement, like yeah. a little nook. Right, yeah. I, I think you should bring it back, hire dancers that do robot dances and put them in the costumes oh, and bring it back. Zay. But it's not animatronics, it's but real life. It just, it gives that like- And the that, show is they make it look like they're animatronics. Then they yeah. come to life. Yes. Scare oh. all the kids. Yes. <laughs> they, they are extremely freaky looking. Okay, Raya, I'm gonna, uh, we'll invest. Okay. Um, uh, you got to do all the work, dog. But actually, you know, they, they, got, they did drop the possessive. It's just Chuck E. Cheese now because they realize that's how people say it. It used to be called Chuck E. Cheese's. Chuck E. Yes. Cheese's. You want to go to Chuck E. Cheese's? Now yeah, they go Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, okay. It does look good. Like it, it is very, I don't know. Hey, get rid of the cheese. Chuck E. I'm going to Indianapolis and the CEO of Chuck E. Cheese is going to be there. Oh, really? So maybe I should ask him what he plans to do with all the animatronics and I can come back with an answer. There you go. Get the inside scoop. You better hit it off. I wish there was, I know. What should, I, what should my opening line be? Like, hey, I used to be Chucky. They're like, <laughs> like Chuck, uh, Chuck, hey. che Chuck E. Cheese, blank location. Let's we just say even... I woke up Chucky many times. That's what I'm going to say because that's what they said if you were an employee and they wanted you to go put on the Chucky costume. They said, go, go wake, wake up, up Chucky. Chucky. Oh yeah, and then let him know that we'll bring him on, and he get, we can have the um anim, uh, the um the animatronics the pop, right right next to Mariah. We'll I'm down. It. Um, even though I think the company is bankrupt. <laughs> uh, oh wait, that's the new one on the right. No, yeah. The, yeah they, oh wait, why does it look like? Because that? kids are familiar with CGI movies, and so they wanted to have like a Pixar looking Chucky. Well, not gonna lie, that. <laughs> that yeah, Chucky Chucky's costume creepy. is creepy. It's like old Mickey and Minnie from the 40s. Okay, that's the one I remember right there to the left. Oh, oh that's, that's the one, <laughs> what that's the one I wore. That's the one I wore. You wore the, that one? The per no, no. Oh, that's, that's the one, the one I, I remember. That's yeah. the one I wore. What a horror show. I mean, that right one is 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 like a cute, like- We say happy, rat. you say birthday. Happy hey. birthday. Clap birthday. your hands. <laughs> now stomp your feet. You're a birthday star <laughs> at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> A birthday You're the guest. Star. We're here to oh, aim Jordan to sounded like one of the animatronics. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to buy one too. Oh man. All right. So we should swing by, get a couple pictures on the stage. I think it'd be fun. I think we should perform there <laughs> with the animatronics. Just hey guys, we're going up. live at all 50 <laughs> locations. <laughs> that are a, still up. a live podcast episode <laughs> on the stage. Wait, that's not a bad idea. Not bad at all. <laughs> but they're probably. <laughs> See, okay, yeah, and that's the new one. Honest, I would love to try the pizza there. Like today, like now. I just, yeah, I would like. It's I wanna... bad, but it's good. Yeah, when's I know the last time you had it? Be, it can't be worse than Pizza Planet. So no, it's definitely better. I think it's better than Pizza Planet. From oh what yeah, I for remember. sure. When's the last time you had Chuck E. Cheese pizza? Twenty five years ago. You think they've made it a little better, where like we could probably enjoy it? Maybe. Mm. I don't know, just that, pe that like bad pizza with a cold Okay, wait, soda. go back to that picture. <laughs> soda in a plastic cup. They definitely hits. don't have that anymore, Mariah, because I feel like they've seen all the pictures and they're like, we can't do that anymore. That's exactly scroll, how it scroll looks. Scroll down, Jordan. Okay, uh, the pizza, the slices don't match up with the pepperonis. They are mix and matching. Uh, you got a stone teenager back there just whipping them up. <laughs> <laughs> it's Yes, there is that whole conspiracy where they don't, but. It's not like, oh, people believe that they were taking uh, the unused slices that okay, people were no, throwing away Okay, no, this is what's going on, I think. It. I think people order by like the slices, right? You could order by the slice or no? Not, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, there goes that theory. Okay. Um, I did watch this uh, hack for, for people that work in a, a pizzeria. You cut a giant like thin slice out of the center 
And then you pull that out and you just squish the two halves oh, together. Oh, yeah. And then you just cut. So then you get a whole big ass. Works like a charm. And you get free, a little slice for yourself. Free, yeah, a free I have a theory. Free slice. What if wow. they are cutting all the pies into eighths, but there's more, there's 12 kids in the party. So they're just like, let's just add a couple. And I little, guess they little would little just, bonus? I guess they would just cut it. Never mind. Cut it more. There's what 12 slices on No, there. no, you're right. What if the pizza is are actually smaller than that? And they're adding more to make it bigger. Yeah. What if they're just like, just take one from this pie and throw it in because there's 13 kids or something. Exactly. Like, what if it's Wing like it. a, a weird, like an odd number yeah, of kids? Yeah, it's like kids? A, a baker's dozen. Mm -hmm. Right. You're yeah. trying to get that animatronic so bad. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> I think they're doing now, a great job being a I, them up. Yeah. I think this is actually a good way they're doing it because I, I stand behind Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you remember they had the report card thing? If you got straight A's, that meant you got free tokens. Remember that? Wait, no. a report in, at Chuck E. Cheese's? Yeah, if you came in with like your report card, oh. you could get like free tokens. What? I, kinda, I love I that idea. Like that. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. that. I didn't even uh, know that was a thing. Incentive. Man, People, what? imagine, you know there was kids that only got good grades <laughs> just so they- I mean, At Chuck E. Cheese's, I used to steal, like, you, they had this like inflatable crown that you could put on. That was like it's your birthday. You would give it to the birthday kid. If there was like a if there was a girl I liked at school, I would go take one of the crowns from Chuck E. Cheese's and I would bring it to school to like give to her and Aww. shit. Oh, like, oh, he was yeah. It was like it was kind of fun because they got to like wear it on school. People would go nuts about Did it. Did they but, get to take it home? Yeah, no, I stole it. Yeah. He's, oh yeah, they, no, I wouldn't, right. I wouldn't bring it back. It was there for them it. to keep. I do you think there's one girl that probably kept it. You know what? Good question. I would have. Yeah, if I that still was have me, my. I, would keep I still it. have my Chuck E. Cheese name tag. I still have my Panda Express. Oh, <laughs> so it was only like a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you should one time wear the shirt, wear the badge, and just hop to the back and just see how long you can last. I should. Is it better to do something good for a bad reason? Or do something bad for a good reason. Something bad mm. for a good reason. I can't even wrap my head around that question. It just, just that, just that right there, without any like any context to it. Bad for a good reason. Absolute. Well. Oh, bad for a good reason. Of course, I do that all the time. You're doing it for a good reason. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You're doing it for a good reason. I guess so. You know, what's Elliot, something good? Wait, what's something good for a bad reason? Like, like giving giving something to the homeless just so you can post it on social media to get likes and followers. So you see that? You see that? See, there's nothing positive about that. Like That's it, just, it's it's more of like a um. I guess in your heart and the way you're doing it. Yeah. Not necessarily saying that's the only thing, but like some people yeah, definitely- Yeah, that's a good example. Okay. So definitely not that. Yeah. Yeah, no. Like um, you're doing something good. Something bad like for a good in reason. In your heart, you're not doing it. Telling a girl uh, before a date that she looked ugly and she shouldn't go on the date because that guy is a murderer. So you saved her from going on the date because- Maybe you just say, don't go on the date. <laughs> that He's guy's a murderer. A murderer. <laughs> Let's I was trying to, to come up here. with like, you that's ugly. <laughs> you're ugly. Wait, you should go you're out. You're ugly. You you're look a, ugly in that outfit. You're ugly. The outfit looks terrible. <laughs> 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 like the Disney Channel. Uh, I just mean. Wait, I do that all the time. I say something. I go. <laughs> She's I go, right behind me. Is isn't she? Why do you have the the gadget <laughs> on the on the faucet? Like what what it looks like oh, we it, have for tap water it's in the a kitchen filter. to to drink out of. I don't know. Just sometimes, cleaner. sometimes water gets a little bit stinky. Oh, it, that water was. You know, like when water starts smelling like it's watered they're, eggs. They're old pipes. Oh, so okay. I just, we're brushing our teeth in there. Just, oh, oh, okay, okay. I was so confused. I, I thought it was like a pressure thing that not oh, enough pressure was coming out, so well, like it caused all, pressure. It's also good for pressure too, but you can maneuver it around so you can like drink like a water fountain oh, okay. or you like, can clean the sink because isn't that isn't that so gross that we like we put this we put like a filter on there like <laughs> like black water could be black and like we have put a filter seen, on it and we're just have you ever like taken the cap out of that and seen what it looks like oh, it's, i, I think that's what sold us we were like oh no that's crazy like if you don't change them out every once in a while it's disgusting. Oh God. I, know, I go so back and forth on like, I love all my water clean. I need almost purified water. And there are days where I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I'm having tap. I'm uh, just like. I, there's times where I drink out of the, straight out of the bathroom. bathroom. <laughs> right out of the bathroom. I just drink straight out. When I'm hungover and I don't feel like going downstairs, I just. Yeah. But then I don't feel good after. It's like. Do you have like salt water in the morning? You know, that's like an important thing. You salt should be water doing. with lemon. It's, uh, my it keeps you more hydrated. Every morning, my mom Her does mom it. mom swears by it. Yeah. Like in like Celtic salt and like all of that is. I've been putting uh, salt in my water and I've been feeling much more hydrated throughout the day. It like gets Just, your metabolism going yeah. and your digestion. Yeah, put, it's a little, all that put a little stuff. salt in your water. Not like. And I wouldn't warm use it up. The, yeah. I wouldn't put like the. Not like the salt. I would get like. Like uh, a pink like, Himalayan. Like that rock salt. Yeah. Like put like. The, not the rock salts, like the, the, 
the fresh salts, like the, yeah, yeah, the good yeah. salts, not like the. Is it bad to? Salt. So you know, like I, because I've, I've been debating doing it. You know, the dentist always like you need just to rinse with warm salt water. It will toughen up your gums, all of yeah. that. And I'm like, okay, I'll do that. But then I'm like, can I spit out salt water in my bathroom sink? Yeah, that's well, fine. Why not? I'm just like worried about the salt like fucking up the piping. But then I'm like, anything, okay, that's okay. It out. Uh, it's like baking soda. Okay. Mm. Do you know about uh, uh, oil pulling for your mouth? Like, so what you do is it's like, I've been seeing it on TikTok, and like some people are like, it's as amazing. It is like cleaning out like the, the you know how you, like, you have like shit that's like really deep, deep in your mouth that like <laughs> yeah. flossing still can't even get to. There's stuff that's like so deep within our gums. So you take like a spoonful of coconut oil, uh huh, like coconut oil or like just, what's it called? Yeah, like, co like the hard kind of coconut. Yeah. You put that in your mouth, you swish it around. You're supposed to do it for like, over three minutes for between three to 20 minutes, but I've been doing it now. I'll put it in my mouth and I'll take my whole shower with it swishing around in my mouth. And it's like, get, it gets all this stuff off your teeth. It's really deep in what? it. Interesting. It, I'm, us talking about it, probably see some TikToks, but I learned do not spit it out in the sink because You're, coconut oh, oil, yeah. it will ruin it. So you gotta like go spit it out in a trash can. And thankfully our cleaning lady puts the little- It's just like, it's just that, it's like the uh, oil, cooking oil, like putting it down. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I've been spitting it now. Cause you know how she like puts the old uh, grocery bags in our trash cans. Yeah. And I've been like spitting it in there and I've been She's like, oh my like, God, she's probably thinking it's like, come. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> like, just 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 like, I was Ew. like, I was like, oh, but then I'm like, you know what? It's my she, business. She has probably seen <laughs> the craziest shit. Like, I'm sure our house is like the least of her words of the shit that she's, That's she's funny. seen. I'm always so nice to her, but like, I can't make eye contact, <laughs> contact or like, I she's can't so, make eye contact, so sweet. but I, I just, her. sometimes the person who like cleans your shit or yeah. like, not mean like your literal shit, but just like. No, your mm -hmm. shit. Like, you know, they're like detectives. I bet they'll like figure out like, uh, mm -hmm. oh, I don't know. When my mom and I would clean houses, we had this one house that had four boys and my mom would always <laughs> make me do the bathrooms. For and the like, boys? And they oh. were young, they were young kids. Like they were oh. like preteens. And like half of them would never flush. And I'm like, oh, uh, my don't, like the stuff I would on. see in that toilet. I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> Yo, nothing was worse when the, the cleaning ladies came in in Mykonos right after we had just walked in. Oh. Wait, wait what, what happened again? Uh, we like had just gotten to Mykonos, got into the room. I went to the bathroom and like something happened. She called me <laughs> out. So I like wiped her and just like, I stood up to go like look outside. She was like, come look at this fruit platter. So I, like, I got really excited. And then as soon as I stepped outside to look, the two girls walked in and they were like, we're just going to put some towels in the bathroom. Oh no. And I was like, okay. And then, <laughs> and then he turned flush. And then, I heard the toilet Ooh. flush. They flushed the toilet. I was just oh. like, oh my God. I was like, I'm, I'm literally going to jump off the cliff right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, done. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it was like one of the worst you probably ever. Because it's like, like, it was that one quick second. I like, I walked out like, but, and it looked like I had just. <laughs> oh, and you've been now traveling you, all day. I know that shit was bad too. Now, can you imagine if they said something? Because <laughs> then that's where already you're embarrassed. And then they were like, geez, you really blew it up. And then I'd be like, I'm calling the front desk. Like in that moment, they're like, they're you're already real. like embarrassed. And then if they said something. And you know what's so funny? That since that hotel's so white too, it's really like when you see something like it, it takes you back. Because yeah. all you see is white. It was Because the whole hotel's. <laughs> and we had just checked. It's not like we'd been there for yeah. a few nights. <laughs> and those smooth uh, ladies, they checked out. <laughs> mm -mm. I felt so bad. They've seen it all, dude. Yeah, no, they really have. It's wild. Um, I was uh, I was watching a TikTok about how um, you know how coffee shops nowadays. Sorry, <gasps> that just oh my god, that just a memory. That's insane. That do you remember I, that the Papa John's Winter Circle? Oh yes, my! I've never seen that before. I was in my obsessed life. with these. Obsessed, I, like every time I got one, I was like, for, it was like winning the lottery every Dude. time I got one of those. And we would get those. It? We would get those in our report cards. It was literally a coupon, but for this was like. Oh, I thought that was a pizza box. Heath, wouldn't we get that in our report cards? Yes. Good grade. So we would get like this coupon. It was shaped as a circle, and each one was like, oh yeah, for Burger King, for yeah. Parrot Jungle, for Papa John's. You for get Game like Wars. free admission to the zoo. Yeah. yeah, and they were good coupons too. Yeah, like every single one of those was like you got in for free. 
For, oh yeah, free ice skating. I'll use that. Mm. Heath, I think this was just for Florida, or they did it everywhere because I'm seeing that Parrot Jungle, tough? Miami Sea Aquarium. It's rough probably, and tough paintball. I That's where the, I used to go. I bet they had partnerships with certain school districts, so some people. Game Works. Oh yeah. Wow. Remember FYE? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Monkey Jungle. Yeah. Wow. Parrot Parrot Monkey Jungle Island. I awesome. wish I was a coupon person. Sometimes I'll get I'll see get coupons in the mail, and I'm like. Do I need this? All the time. <laughs> like, I, I save like, all my CVS receipts. I'm like, yes, next time it's buy one, get one. Never fucking do it. Why, no but why? It's just such an extra step. I know, it's just that middle class, like Ugh. we think, or why we got to keep boxes around from our the old Apple electronics. Boxes. We need to keep those. I'm just scared to use coupons because I just don't want to be denied. They're just like, oh, sorry, Ooh, sir, I know. it's expired. And, right. and then There's I just There's so look. much fine print. Actually, the, speaking of the uh, Apple boxes, we did find a use for them. If you're saving them and they're just like stuck in a drawer, we put them in like a junk drawer and use them as organizers. Oh, So you know you can go on Amazon and buy like those plastic mm -hmm. organizers that everyone uses. Which are like really, that. they're good quality too. Yeah, the Apple boxes are so, such good quality. So we just threw them in there and put like rubber bands and- There you go. Also, if you whatever. think about it, those boxes, we're, we're paying for each iPhone we buy, right? Yeah. I'm sure those boxes cost us about 25, 30 bucks a box, mm -hmm. you know? So you're better off just keeping those and saving your money. What were we just I, talking I, about? I, I, I for, unless you want to add, do you have something to add to this oh, before? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I was watching, you know how um, coffee shops these days, there's always, now there's always option to tip. It doesn't matter where you go. Yeah. Like even if you're buying something from a gas station, you, there's an option to tip always. And these ladies are talking about how it's crazy that they're having all these tipping options and how they, you, you kind of feel like you have to tip yeah. what, if they're just making you a coffee. <clears throat> I like, you know, I feel like most of us always tip is just nice too. But this girl was talking about how uh, a lot of coffee shops now, that's um, that employers will use those tips to pay to, uh, as as part of uh, their minimum wage payment, right? Oh, they're putting so, that to their exactly. So once like they'll they'll take all those. Tips, oh, they're counting right? that as income. For exactly. The so instead of pay, you, uh, them paying you fifteen dollars an hour, they're going to pay you eight dollars an hour, and they're they're going to take all the tips and then finish off your minimum wage payment with all the tip from pretty much. So for, but pretty does it fluctuate? Because they're like, well, last. No, I think week they come. They I, I, I think they just pay. That minimum wage. That's what the girl was saying. So they're they're basically and they got not caught getting, doing this. They're not they getting any of the it. tip, basically. They're, yeah, it's not extra income. It's just part of their minimum wage. It goes into the minimum wage. Yeah, that is like which that is, is kind of messed up. Also, like that's by keeping the books of a restaurant, up. like for tax reasons, like that's interesting. How you like write off that? Yeah, right. Because if they see my right. transaction is one transaction. Right, and if you think about it, that every like whenever you tip, that's not going to that person that took care of you. It's 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 being all like saved in a. That's one thing I don't really like. That's tips. so sad. I don't like tipping in the digital world now because right. like there is something about giving somebody a specific tip. This I is was for you. I want you to that. get this. I, I don't was like just the, gonna say. I that. don't like pooled tips. I don't like. But you got it. The barbacks get, still got to walk away with like tipping like. Or do they still like get it the, the, at the whole bar? Whoever gets, whoever's not doing something face to face with a customer and doing the interaction, yeah, I feel like should just be on a normal salary. Okay, yeah, yeah, I guess yes, that does make sense. Like, oh, you're saying then, when it's a pool, like everybody, even people that are not, yeah, because doing they're, they're, they're tipping out, they're tipping out a busboy, they're tipping out the barbacks, they're tipping out bartenders, they're tipping out all the waiters, waitresses. Yeah, when I was a busboy at a diner. The waiters and waitresses, they would get so annoyed at the end of the night because they would have to take out their tips and give the bus boys a tip and they would give me like 50 cents. But they were, but they were like, here, have the change. Our, and it was yeah. our pay cents. was so shit already though. I know. No, but that's what I'm no saying. Money. Like the bus should be just like a normal wage. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like and you not, shouldn't have to rely on right. the waitress's tips that they earned. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Your, their your table. wage should right. not depend on anybody else but yourself. The, yeah, it just I agree depends on like the establishment of what's being run. Right? Yeah. But you're right. I feel more inclined to tip with cash. Like, if somebody makes my coffee, I hate some places. If you want to give them like, oh, here's like a few bucks. Like, thank you so much. They're like, we're not allowed. Yeah. It's just, that's, just that seems it. so weird that like, we're, that even that we're them saying allowed. we're not allowed. It feels like, 
Like they're in I jail. Hate when you have to, right. Like yeah. you have to, and then you, you're kind of pushing it more. You're like, just hide it. Just please take it. Do you ever donate? Never. Never. Because no, now because it goes the to corporations, oh, yeah, yeah. The they use that as their tax yeah. donation so they yeah. don't have to pay the taxes, which I'm like, bullshit. I've seen and tax this whole yeah. fucking business. Crazy. Like I'm talking about like CVS, Walmart, like the big corporations. Like they, like they don't, like they, they make enough money where they could just donate themselves. They don't need to yeah. rely on us who's already paying like for a, a, oh. a, a product or item in your store yeah. you to have to now pay extra. That's crazy. You know, it's pretty crazy. I uh, saw some stuff about how Starbucks is basically considered a bank now, like b bigger than they would be like a coffee uh, okay. chain. Yes, yes. Because everybody is prepaying on the app and they're oh, loading yes. up the app. So they're literally holding billions of dollars in this app that they can use to like invest, do whatever they want. And you know there's billions of dollars in that app because yeah. people put in money they, into their accounts. They have more money in that Starbucks prepaid app than a lot of big banks in That's the world. Yeah, fucking countries. Crazy. They, like, Yo, yeah, they, it's, it's insane. That's just money stored in there. Mm-hmm. But it's wild. Very wild. I, I want to bring. I, I mean, I'm not sure exactly how Instagram is doing this, but it's kind of like the Instagram subscription where people are paying for verifications now to like. Yeah. Imagine how much money they have to work with now of people buying verifications. Their income is insane. I feel like now Instagram is almost like a bank too. Now Let's we're start now paying the having, creators. Then, huh? I, I, is that why they do they're doing it? I don't know. No, they just no, gotta make money. Because they realize it's also their way to make money and they don't have to like make their money through ads too. It's crazy that they went from like getting that much money monthly just by just by making that simple. How mm. how much is it uh to buy the verification? Five dollars a month. That's I, it? I think it's more. I thought it was I think like it's 12. 15. 15 a month? I heard it was like twelve. No way. Now for now, what I'm curious, I wish we could just have an active like chat or like, I'm so curious what people think about like our listeners, their friends who are buying the verifications. Uh -huh. Is it like, oh, cool. Or is it, is it totally normal of people buying the verifications? Like, are yeah, people yeah. judging other people who are buying verifications? I think, well, I think- I'm not jealous about it I think it there's all. like three different like, reasons why people buy verifications, right? One reason is you're a small business. Yes. You're not verified. You wanna be able to contact different people to grow your business. It helps to have that verification because people are attracted to seeing a blue check mark when they're going through their DMs. That makes sense, I guess. And it's it's a business expense. So like in your small business, whatever. Second, dudes are uh, uh, for dudes that want that verification. So when they're DMing girls, it looks the girls are getting the DMs and like, ooh, who's this? He has a blue check mark. Is he famous? Is he not? And then you go to their page. But it's that extra click that I feel like helps dudes yeah. when they have that verification mm. to help them. Stand Land out. a date, exactly. Yeah. Did you guys? 12, 12 if purchased on the web or 15 if purchased uh, via the app. Yes, but Instagram and Facebook are separate. So if you get both, you pay 27 monthly. Oh, Facebook in on this too. There Meta. you go. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I know that. I just didn't know Facebook was doing that too where you can pay. Did you guys go through like a guilty phase where you started tipping on your own like as an adult, but as a kid, like, when we would go get our hair cut, my mom would give us like three to five bucks. Hey, give this to yeah, the yeah. lady. It was always, to me, tipping was always like $5. So especially like when I moved out to California and I started tipping, like you don't think like times have changed. You have to tip more now because things are more expensive and yeah. they're like harder. So I would, oh, like when I would get my nails done, it'd be like $5 tip, $5 tip. And I did that for so long. Not and then realizing. I realized it wasn't a good tip, but. To me, that's a, that was a lot. I was yeah. like, I'm already paying so much. I don't get it. Like my parents raised us like, and my dad, it's an Italian thing. You just tip everybody. Like uh -huh. someone holds a door open, like here's a dollar. It would always be a dollar because we didn't have like that much money, but it was always like my dad carried cash and it was like, give this person a dollar, give this. So I was like giving people dollars <laughs> in like 2020. Bro, like it's someone cute. buying it's, your groceries, like, it's here's just, a dollar. It's just like petty. And I'm like, oh, no. Shit. Oh what no! Am I Send the kid and soften the blow, though. That's like, true. like, <laughs> like, oh, they're so cute. Take the That's dollar. True. Like, they're not going to be like. Now I'm giving people. Here's a dollar. So and they're like, <laughs> your parents taught you something good, but it didn't turn out very but good. But it's the way not enough know. now. Yeah, I was like, what? I just thought it was like a nice job. I just didn't understand tipping. You know those videos? Like, I when someone gives someone a great tip, like, are you getting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I think it's awesome if you write a really generous tip to someone, as you should. Yeah, but. I get the weirdest feelings about those videos where like someone goes in and they're like, come over here and they get the waiter and they're like, yes. And they're like, it's the biggest tip you've ever gotten. Yeah. And they're like, uh, like a couple hundred dollars. Well, 
we're going to do something better for you today. And they write the check. It's like good thing for wrong reason. I'm j yes. yes. Like I'm, I want this person to have the money. It's just, we're filming it and you're putting this person who's um, already like, yeah. we don't know what this person's going yeah, through. Yeah. And if it's, even if it's a thousand dollars, this person has to be like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. It's it, all of it just seems like, I don't know. It doesn't, like, yeah, it I, don't, I can't the watch way. the video. The TikToker that I saw, she's a girl. She, what she does is everybody. So her, she started doing this and then she's, uh, she put out a uh, pretty much, um, got a Venmo account and people that watch her, they always send money through Venmo and then she collects right. so much money. Like, and everybody, I think it's public. I think there's a way that she like shows people how much money she right. collects and then she'll take that money and then she'll go and surprise one or two people and tip them the money that everybody has collected uh, and uh, gave right. her to her page. That, I don't know why, it's almost the same, it's almost the same thing does she but does she at least talk to like the manager before going? Hey, is there an employee here who you think could really deserve the money and let us know? I because don't imagine know. you're like you've been busting your ass. You have three kids at home and you're you know working a minimum wage job. And there's the young kid who's just working a side job, who's a college student, who like this I mean, is just that, easy that, for that them. Could be like, and they get like five thousand dollars. It's just like the luck of the draw. Yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess you can, so. You can't do that. Can I would just try to figure out before I would do it, like who is the per, like to just talk to the manager, figure out who's deserving. Can you sit them with me and I have a surprise for them? I just would like, there, it, there's it, a especially nah. I would want my money going to that. If there's I'm a donating. difference between someone who deserves it the most and someone who needs it the most. When you think about it, if you go to a, a, like if a boss and say, Good who, point. You, who yeah. here could use more of the money? It's not really an appropriate question to like even get Great answered. point. I actually yeah. saw a video today that I thought was really interesting. They were talking about when Oprah gave everybody a car yeah. in, in the room and stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that video is wild. wild. I, I just saw it recently and it's great. And oh, after they shut down the cameras and then everybody was gonna go off and like meet with lawyers and stuff, they already had all that set up. But Oprah goes, some of you, this is what a girl who was in the audience who yeah. won the car, which she said Oprah said, which I thought was like a really great point. Oprah said, a lot of you probably in this audience don't think that you deserved this free car. You probably don't think that you deserved it. And I wanna let you know, it's not about that you deserving it. I want you to understand that you're worthy of it. Like you're worthy just to have, have the car. free car rather than like of deserving, mm. which I think is like, I think we're all worthy of, of, yeah. of having a treat, having that moment right. happen for you. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, that, and I was like, what a smart move on Oprah. And, to and like, not only that, I feel like even uh, people that don't think they deserve it or people that are like not the best people to other people, I don't know. After something like that, they get a free car, they might become a better person because they're like, oh, you know what? I just got this car. Let me be a little nicer to people uh, yeah, leaving this show. I don't know. There's like people that do it. Like I really like Jimmy Darts. Um, I think he's really sweet and genuine. Um, but there's like people that will do, you know, like the first person to be kind to you, like you would reward them with X amount of money or whatever. You ask somebody for a favor and see if somebody will like give you a bottle of water or something. I like that route. Like people, people that do that, like Jimmy does that. But mm. now he there's people that are, nice people way. are trying to do that, but you can tell their heart's not in it. Yes. And they're, they're going up to people at like a job and they're, instead of being like, who's going to do something nice, they go up and steal the tip jar off of like this cash register of like a restaurant and they're like stealing a cash register to get their reaction and then waiting like five minutes just to like get the person like worked up yeah. and then tipping them $500. Oh it's my like, God. Don't, don't, like, you know what I mean? Like, you're literally like, like this isn't is a show. It's like, you're supposed to be inspiring people and Jimmy Darts <laughs> does it perfectly. I think he's the only person that can do it. Like, well. but you're like, you're, 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 the whole thing is to like set somebody up to do something <laughs> kind. But like, if you steal money from somebody, and uh, then look at them and be like, uh, and then be like, no, or, or the or uh, you so steal their headphones or the people, the guy that steals their headphones and cuts them, the, and yeah, they're just that, like, it's so it's all fake. That's that that like, stupid. That is crazy because first off, how do you know they want these fucking AirPods? Like right. maybe they don't want AirPods. Maybe those, they those like are, the fucking. What if, what if they're nostalgic to them? Yeah, <laughs> these were my mother. You these don't know. Yeah, these are my grandmother's <laughs> AirPods. AirPod Pros. Like my grandmother's AirPod Pros. <laughs> these are vintage AirPod Pod Pros. Oh my! Isn't it crazy that one day AirPod Pros are gonna be vintage? They're yeah. gonna be super vintage. They're gonna be like, oh my god, you have that? Oh, the Air Maxes. They're gonna be like Walkmen. Be like, right. Ew, who cares? <laughs> These back in my day, these were six hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got scammed today. 
Like what? Yeah? Hard. Awesome. What, what was it? Was it? By a car Zane's dealership. like, awesome thumbnail. <laughs> 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 but he actually did. Like about a week ago in my truck, I go to like turn it on. I start driving and all these sensor lights starts popping up. Like warning, warning, warning. Things are go- like pinging everywhere. Tell them when you got the truck. The truck has like 1,500 miles on it. Yeah. It's brand new. Brand new. Um, so all these sensors start. It's brand new. It's brand new. <laughs> tell them how. You're I'll like tell your them. fucking mother. How, and t- and tell, them, tell, them what, <laughs> tell them how many miles. It's a thousand you, miles. This is exactly how her parents, yeah, they, yeah. when they're telling us a story. It's <laughs> oh, no. when, you're te- when Italians are telling stories, you tag team. It's collaborative. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, collaborative. It's like you, pa- you pass that ball back. Yeah, I'm not interrupting. I'm the, just in Your dad does not pass it. <laughs> she takes and passes back. She holds the baton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no talking stick in this family <laughs> sorry, right. sorry sorry, sorry. Right, so somebody fun. give me my baton back please right, um i'll put the mic down no 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 you're good it was i was uh, working off it. it was working so it's like abs um and then it's like uh traction control light it had stability control uh all sorts of things started popping up i'm like oh shit well this is really weird i guess like you know some sort of sensor went bad uh so i google it people are like oh it's a common problem whatever I start calling around to different dealerships to go take it in to get it serviced. For some reason, every single dealership within like 50 miles, their service department was booked out for a month. I found one. A lot that, are like that. I found one that I could get in like, um, that was like a week. Yeah. Out. I was like, wow. All right, whatever. So I'll just do it. And I like waited it and I finally get to drop it off. I drop it off. And I don't hear from them for like two days. And I was supposed to hear later that day if they were keeping it overnight. They're like, we'll let you know if it's overnight. We'll give is you a call. This is a certified Dodge dealership? Or wait, yeah, this the- is LA uh, Chrysler Dodge or- Jeep Ram, whatever they call them. Okay. Um, and I don't hear from them. Then finally, I hear from them today. And they're like, yeah, so just wanted to give you an update. The uh, wheel speed sensor on your front um, is cut. And I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? They're like, the, the, the wire is, has like a clean cut through it. Somebody cut it. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Like nobody is going around cutting somebody's wheel speed. Set. Like, so they're like, yeah, well it's cut. Um, so, which means it doesn't fall under warranty. So you're going to have to go out of pocket for it. And I'm like, that, what? I'm like, how much is it? They're like, it's going to be $500 to, uh, to, to replace it and get it put in. And first, at first, when he said it was cut, I was like, oh no, the chickens. Like maybe they were gnawing at it. Oh, yeah. But they so, said, no, a tool was used. It's a clean cut. I was like, the, it, is it like not on? Like could a squirrel have gotten it? No, it's, it's a clean slice. And I'm like, that's really bizarre. Cause like, nope, you're not just gonna go. You're, and your truck is parked inside, the, the, locked behind my gate. Like nobody's gonna, and that's not something you cut. Yeah. You know what I mean? What did like, you say? You were like, it's not a, va- like some things get cut because they're of value. And yeah. They like sell you, can, it. you can like take stuff off of a car. Like you wanna like cut out my catalytic converter and you know yeah. what I mean? Like I understand that, but. Which I just learned or, that catalytic converter, I thought it was a Cadillac converter. Oh my God. That's so funny you just said that. My mom called it a Cadillac converter today. And I was like, what? Just over the past few months, I've been like- She was like, like, I don't even have a Cadillac. (laughs) (laughs) I just thought that's what everyone was saying. Go on, sorry. Um, Uh, Before you continue, is like, can you check? Like, can you check yourself? If were you like, like coach, show me, show me. So yeah. it's still in there. I was like, can you send me a picture of it? They're like, yeah, we'll send you a picture. Still haven't sent me a picture. Mm. That was this so, morning. He go, I'll send it to you right away. Nothing. So I'm like, so the, the, the cable's cut. And I tell the guy, I'm like, there's no way somebody would cut that. I would never cut that. That doesn't make any sense. Um, I was like, it's funny that a lot of people have these issues. And it's like a defective piece that goes wrong on a lot of these trucks. And now all of a sudden it has a clean slice through it and you guys can't fix it. And it falls out of warranty because it looks like it was something that I did to it. So basically they're getting people bringing in this part that's gone defective. And instead of fixing it under warranty, they're snipping it and saying that, oh, we can't do it because it's, it, it's out of their like warranty. They can't service it if it looks like I did something or something it was, like somebody else did yeah. it. And t- tell them how much the piece is. The part's like 50 bucks. Yeah, it's a wire too. Like, and I was so like, he's just gonna get the wire. I was wire like, want, and do it I was like where, where are you getting five hundred dollars for this? I was like, I can buy it for fifty bucks and put it in myself. <laughs> are, so, are you saying that they may have like they snipped it? Yeah, they're probably getting people like instead of 
replacing it for them for free. That's which are they be. on their end? Are they able to turn on like that shit? Like on their end? Like you said, you remember you said you're fucking. Yeah, you your, plug you plug in. It's basically like a, a computer. You plug it into the car and it runs all the codes and it'll tell you exactly what's wrong. So they're able to like turn whatever on in your car from their end. No, I, I think the sensor is defective from the factory. Like things just go bad. Like there's oh, so many computers and, in these cars nowadays. Okay. But it's a common thing to go bad. And Ford actually got busted doing this. I think like a year ago, they were saying it was um, uh, rats were chewing the wires and they were showing pictures and it's like a clean slice through it. <laughs> and they got they got busted. It was a huge uh, was it service fraud. Ford's nationwide? What are guys meeting up going, guys heard about a great hack. We can tell like, are people I wouldn't conspiring be to do this? Yeah. Does it catch on? I mean, like, it's just, it's more income for them. Yeah, Heath, when, when I had my Mitsubishi uh, Gallant, the lights, the um, the check engine light would always go on, and the or there's lights that would always go on, right? And they said, oh, it's just because the wire, like the um, the piece that like the sensory, all it's doing is it's like moving and it's like unplugging or something, uh -huh. and they just got to go and plug it back in. It's like as simple as that. That's not exactly what it was, right? But it's so it's as simple as that when the but light now, comes but on. But now I'm pissed if they cut my wire. They said that was a rat. Oh come <laughs> on. Wait, that's your picture? No, no. That's, not, that's not mine. Oh, this is, yeah. a, this is someone who made a same complaint. This is oh, yeah. from you the Ford a, article. Yeah, you haven't gotten a picture yet. So this is the Ford article. Yeah, but I rat. did Google it to see if anybody like knows that this is a specific scam. And I didn't, this is the only answer we found, but I did find people that have the same exact story as Heath with their truck. And they're like, can somebody let me know? It was Reddit. Can somebody please let me know if I'm getting scammed? They said it was a clean cut and all the everything checked it's just out weird. and nobody had answers. I was like, so people are having the same issue where they bring their car in for service and all of a sudden something's cut. It's cut. And it's in a weird, I asked them where it was. I was like, is it inside the it's, car or outside the car? It's outside the car, like under the wheel. I'm it's like, not something yeah, someone yeah. can even it's get just, to. It's just weird, but it just like really pissed me off because like they're definitely doing that to a lot of people with a bunch of other things. Yeah. I would, you know what I mean? I would love to just... Check the cameras. There's always cameras in those garages, right? I know. I wish yeah. there was a, a, I wish there were pictures and videos of it before it went in. That's why you gotta Something. be friends with just like a really good mechanic who just knows every car who yeah. you can just go to before you go to the big dealership who goes, this is what it I is. I wish I would have like, I wish I would have looked at that wire before I took it in to see yeah, if it was good. Yeah. Because like, oh, like if you should have put I a little proof, hidden camera, camera right there. Oh and just, my if God. I, yeah. If imagine I, if just the picture just action of just catching that shit. Just hit I'm sure the amount of people that watch, maybe somebody's sensor lights are going on. Take pictures and videos before you go yeah. in yeah. and let's see what can, happens. They put can this you, clip on 60 minutes. Like, <laughs> Heath, for something- I, I crack this whole nationwide yeah. Ram deal. Heath, <laughs> could, it, could something like that shut down a whole, like a whole like um, store or just the guy would be get fired? They would get sued, I would imagine. If they realized it was like a big operation. Like I'd be so or, salty about it because you know that's not the only guy doing it. Everybody's doing it. That's how they make their money. I do. I would want to shut that ooh. shit down. Fuck that. It's also dude. They probably take thousands of dollars a day just by just by scamming people like that. Yeah, and telling people something's broken that it's not. Yeah, you gotta. They were way too casual about it being cut. They're like, all right, it's cut. Um, so it's under. It's not. It's like it's almost like they were yeah. on a script. That makes me like my. Coolant level keeps saying my coolant level's low, but my coolant's full. I got it like it's completely full, but the sensor keeps saying that it's low. But I'm like, oh, for now, the low price of 450. Yeah, and now I'm like, it. but now I'm like, where's the wire so I can right. like figure it at, out? Look at the little um, depression thing inside of it. Um, like open up the hood to look at it? Where where you put your uh, fluid in. Well, I didn't look at it. Just I went make sure to like Valvoline nice and they put there's coolant a, in There's it. also like the, the sensor. Um, rises with the level oh. how much is in it so it could have something it's probably it i've read a lot of people like have that issue and i know it's not i just hate that it keeps saying it it makes it look like i'm about yeah. to fucking die but it's fine i hate, Crazy. Shit. I hate it why and does everything give me have to my truck scam? back i said can i pick it up today they're like yeah we'll let you know they also told him if it takes more than 24 hours they give him a rental it's been like four days no rental. He doesn't. And have I was car. like, I'm gonna come pick my truck up. They're like, we're well, they're still working on it. I'm like, if how are you working on it? What are you working on? Yeah. Mm. And you know what? What if like they, they hate when customers are like, I want to pick up my car because most people would probably just pay it. What if they just snip something else too? Hey, let's do something else to the Cut car. My break so where they, he has to come back. Oof. What law does that fall under? What oh endangering endangering uh like intentional. 
Intentional manslaughter. <laughs> yeah. What if you're driving and you can't like the the speed and you die? Vehicular. Vehicular manslaughter. Premeditated. Premeditated. In the third degree. Yeah. <laughs> Get James Martin on this case. Motherfucker, mm -hmm. we gonna crack it. I'm a, I just want to fall in love with food again. Oh, I, I thought you, you were about like to I'm just not I'm, <laughs> that took I'm, a hungry. I'm hungry, but I'm never like hungry for what I like want. You know? Nothing is satisfying. Just nothing sounds good. Did I say on the last episode, I just want something soft. Yes. Like to eat every single. Like, Actually, if I just had like mashed potatoes. I, that's all I want to eat is I know. soft I, shit. I can live off appetizers. They should make just a mm -hmm. mashed potato bar place that like puts. <laughs> Build your own chicken, mashed potato bowl. But it's mostly mashed yes, potatoes. Like a pop, pop, like almost like a pop or uh, like chicken. Like what does KFC make? The. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Just the, that. The I just KFC want that bowl. for dinner every night. Just soft and a little crunchy. Some oh. people do a mashed potato bar for their wedding. You get <gasps> you get a martini oh. glass and they scoop a bunch of mashed potatoes and then there's different toppings. Like, oh, like a Sunday bar of mashed potatoes. That's fun. Well, Patricia and we had to like pick our like menu for like Are you doing our buffet, wedding buffet reception. Style? Yes. Buffet style is coming back in for weddings. Because they're, they're realizing that To people, me, it never left. <laughs> yes, I think it's a buffet, but gosh, I could be so wrong. Sometimes we'll be like, talk about one thing and then I remember the, that. But we just had to look at the menu, be like, what do you want passed around? What do you want at the bar, the drinks and all that stuff? The, I love the Bacardi buffets. wedding was buffet style and I thought it was perfect the way they did it. It was I, I so, it buffet. was perfectly I just like done. it because when you, when when it's oh, by plate and you're like chicken, steak or fish, you don't know what it looks like before it yeah, comes and then it yeah. shows up and you're like, meh. And you always really end up looking at the person next to you like, damn, I should have got the chicken. Right. Every time. You wanna just be able to, I don't know. And, I, and I, people I'm eat a different amounts of food. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's true. Mm. Some people like to have thirds and fourths. Sometimes I like three portions of mashed potatoes with exactly. my steak. Exactly. Maybe I, I don't want a side of broccolini you know, but I now I have. But to I want to go double carrot because you know they spent two hundred and fifty dollars a plate. That's what the chef wants to do, though. It's his like Fuck canvas. The it's, it's, his the art. it's the bride it's and groom's pairing of it all. You get you gotta respect. And you know what's gonna be at my wedding? Donut holes, Ooh. tower, a tower of donut holes. Like because oh everybody loves donut like holes, catch. and I keep that shit hot always. Hot mm. donut holes. Okay, Zane, I'm coming. Or, or just have Krispy Kreme as like a sponsor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, imagine having the whole machine. Decide your wedding and a <laughs> conveyor belt that yes. goes around the room. That's actually I would do sick. it. It's pretty cool. The Kardashians, I feel like, would do that. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it first. Okay. Those wedding planners are gonna be like, okay. <laughs> and we want. I think you'd be like, never belt. mind. No, I mean, Zane, great to work with. Everything was really simple. He just wanted his really ideas wanted were really the, out the there. Cream, like the the whole thing, like the donuts coming down. He really it just starts really smoking. Wanted... And like, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Oh man. Or honestly, I think by the time I get married, there might be like an AI feature where honestly you marry like a AI woman or something. <laughs> That'd be you know great. I mean? But like just for the wedding, you know what I mean? Just for the look, like everybody mm -hmm. wants to get married at least once in their life and you want to have like you'd this be, special you'd be, able, you'd be able to do uh, at least once. Yeah, at least for everybody. You, like when someone's about to die, they're like, I just want to like, I want to get married, you know, before I die. So they, you do a whole thing. <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably going to get to the point where like you could do it in like a backyard and it's like AI green screened of like, uh, a destination yeah. wedding. So you're like, you're in like My Bora gosh. Bora. AI gender and everybody reveal. thinks you're at like a, a Bora Bora. <laughs> yeah. Every, I, everyone's I, like, we're really happy for Zane. <laughs> <laughs> we really are. This is what he's wanted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do we tell the people, Zane? What? About us? Huh? Oh. Oh, yeah. Matt is, oh. Matt is, Matt is out of here. He is out of the house by June 1st. Matt wow. is out I'm of here. Moving out. Yes, he's moving. He's moving uh, pre-wedding, which no, it, we just, a little controversial. <laughs> but Tristan moved out. So Patricia needed like to have a sublet, but like her whole room's like unfurnished, so it just made yeah. sense. But I can't believe it though. You've been That's my it. roommate for how many years? A long period, a lot, luckily time. Mm. I'm gonna miss it a lot. Mm -hmm. You're gone, and I'm stuck with Danielle. Ugh. It's just gonna be <laughs> me and her. <laughs> Me and her, and but also um, visit. I, that's yeah, no, of course. Todd visits all the time, and he overstays. He like sleeps there a lot too. I, <laughs> I think he wants to move back. Oh, yeah. I think I think I got him. I think I got him. It, I'm 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 making I'm working his way back to the house for sure. <laughs> I'm thirty. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to pull my. Yeah, friends I'm really back. just trying to get him to move back in with me. Yeah, I'm thirty. Doing. There's doing something different about being like thirty and having like. 
I get like two guys, but like you having a girl as a roommate at 30. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, that's technically you too. I'm your roommate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're dating. Yeah, but it's like, we're not married. It's it's not like, like, like it's, Mar Mar Mariah's trying everything. Yeah. She it's really, not like I'm your wife. She is grasping us. <laughs> I mean, I'm well, like, no, no, technically no, we're I'm roommates. No, we're, fr no, we're friends. <laughs> oh, we live together. <laughs> yeah, we're, oh, yeah we're, not, we're not together. We're roommates. Not, not by Jesus' words. We're not, we're not, we're, no, we're not together. And they so, were you know. roommates. They got separate bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> we do. It's because ours doesn't I work. I know. Well, y'all have plenty bathrooms. of bathrooms. To, like, no, I get separate bathrooms. I'd want a separate bathroom bathroom too. When we go look at houses, I love when it's his and her bathrooms yeah. in the mm -hmm. master. I, Genius. I, I agree. Because I think they, it's great. Men and women operate differently. I don't want to be taking a shit while she's doing a makeup. And I want yeah, and I want a vanity. And no, I, honestly, <laughs> I like me. two showers. Me too. Two showers, two sinks, two toilets, everything separate. And we're responsible for cleaning our own. Well, you don't poop, so yeah. you're just pretty much just like. Yeah, I don't have to clean anything. Yeah, you're just. My you, bathroom you, sparkles. Yeah, right. You pretty much just do this when you clean. <laughs> yeah, <everything> just <laughs> Butter, butterflies come out when <laughs> you clean the toilet. <laughs> um, what was I getting into? I forget. A tussle. <laughs> <laughs> what were what were we just uh, right before? I wanted to add to that, and I forgot. Roommate, uh, some of our roommates. roommates. Some of our root beer. Oh, oh, I, I'll see comments here and there because you know we're getting older, you know, hitting thirties. Yeah, yeah. I'll always see a comment saying you're thirty. Like as I get down and normally that, I feel like that would hurt people's feelings. But every time I see it, I'm just like, I, I love those comments. It like, it gives me energy when someone's like yeah. you're 30 because they want me to be their version of 30 year old so bad, but I'll never. I'll yeah, never. damn straight. Good, I'll I'm never. proud of you, Zane. No, That's a good way. But it's only those comments. It. <laughs> Everything else. <laughs> <laughs> but when I see that, I'm like, I'm doing something right. You wish I was your 30. Mm. Ooh. Like, you Make that your, your bio. <laughs> you wish I was your 30. You wish I was your 30. <laughs> you wish you were this at 30. You wish I had three kids. Come on. But I'll never. <laughs> I, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, no, my kids are going to be idiots. Stop. <laughs> they are, but we're all going to be idiots together. You know, mm -hmm. my kid's going to hit his head. I'm going to be running. I slip, hit my head. It'll be that type of like. <laughs> <laughs> he teaches you how to read. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dad, Dad, that's a that's a lie. <laughs> oh shit! All right, let's let's close this out and jump into the online. Yeah, let's close it up. All right, guys, make sure to check out the greatest coffee in the world. We also have matcha. We have bag coffee, K cup, a bunch of different flavors. You can get whole bean, uh, ground espresso, whatever you want. Cremota.com. Make sure to check it out. You can also check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath, where we have bonus episodes, we have early access episodes, and we also um, have episodes that we film right after we finish filming. They're like 20 to, they're like 15 to 30 minute episodes. We call it the unwind, where we just keep the conversation going. We kind of let loose too, because it's shit that we don't want to talk about public. So you can check that out, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. Everything you can get, you can get everything for $5 a month, which is also 16 cents a day when you uh, oh, break wow. it down. Did you Very did good. you find that out just now? I, I did. I did. I found it out like just an hour ago. Yeah, oh. I, was, I was so curious. Cause like in my house, like people like are paying for this. I wonder right. like how much money that is a day. 16 cents, not bad. That's oh. less than a quarter. Less than 17. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, uh, and you get everything that we've ever posted for the past like year. Bonus, also with bonus that, higher you, drunk episode every month. Mm -hmm. You get a bunch of goodies. Again, yeah. patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. Uh, you can check out this uh, podcast. Uh, we post audio form where you're listening right now. It came out Monday every week. Um, and now it comes out on the Spotify app, on the Google app, podcast app, all that good stuff. And then on Tuesdays, we post, we post, we post the video form of this podcast. And you can check that on YouTube, youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. Period. We love you guys. Period.